when you have an Oracle database with you, the files could be stored in a network based storage and the instance could be running on a computer, which is generally called as a compute server or the database server. And the instance performs IO over the network to get the data. There is one challenge with this model where you have a single instance is that the application's access to the database depends on this one instance. If something goes wrong with the instance and it crashes or the hardware of this server crashes, application loses connectivity to the database. That is the first problem. And the second problem is if the application needs to get more work done or you want to make more applications use the same instance, you are constrained by the CPU resources available on this physical hardware. So scalability is another challenge. To overcome this, you could use an RAC database, a real application cluster, wherein you could set up a cluster of compute nodes, wherein you have created a cluster of instances with multiple compute servers and the bare minimum you need for this is a shared storage so that all the database related files are accessible from multiple computers. In this example, I've came in a case of two nodes. You can add up to 32 or 64 nodes depending on your need. And please keep in mind, there is more resource requirements that will come up from a storage perspective when multiple instances are accessing the same storage. So your storage should be able to scale up for that. Once you have a collection of instances accessing the same storage, you can have more work done through them. So you can have specific applications connect to a particular service which can be exposed over a particular instance particular application connect to a particular service. Services are discussed in another uh, playlist I have given about grid infrastructure and rack RAC concepts overview. Look into that for the idea behind more details about terminology with respect to RAC. The idea here is to understand in a non CDB environment, you have a single database which has multiple instances on multiple computers so that you can have a scalable setup. Also, you get the ability to take care of high availability so that if one instance or one computer fails, your application still have access to your database. This is a quick recap about what is RAC and how does it help a normal Oracle database. This is why we used RAC as such. This is with respect to the non-CDB architecture because we have a single database there. And having understood all these, now it is finally time to get into the multi-tenant architecture. The remaining videos in the playlist will be specifically looking at the multi-tenant architecture as such.